thank you guys for, for letting us kick off Mobility Field Day. You know, as you guys know, we keep our powder dry for this one. You know, this is definitely one where we bring out our heavy hitters in terms of product to, to really go through some of the, the best and the brightest um, product enhancements. Um, so I'm gonna stay on here for a very short time. I only have about five minutes and then I'll let you get to these guys, but I did wanna quickly level set on, you know, what is the Juniper vision and strategy? You know, we always like to start with that what we've done since the last time we saw you guys at MFD7, and then talk about some of the announcements that literally hit the wire about 10 minutes ago. And we'll go through that, and those will be part of the presentations. So for starters, you've probably seen this slide. Again, this is our eighth mobility field day. We keep showing the slide. It's not because we don't have imagination. It's not because we're boring. It's because we continue to reemphasize that this is our differentiation, right? Juniper is all about delivering end-to-end -end assured experiences. Right, focusing on the user and the operator experiences. And the way we do that is all about leveraging a modern microservices cloud and AI. AI, AI, AI. We were the first to come out with AI ops. We we're the first to come out with Marvis, a virtual network assistant, and we continue to lead on that front. And you may ask, does being first matter? The answer is yes, it does, especially when it comes to AI and learning and continual learning. And we'll show you some of the, the benefits of that. This slide was first presented at Mobility Field Day, uh, I think it was one or two, right? When it was just Mist Wireless connecting to the Mist Cloud, right? And then after the Juniper acquisition, we added Wired, Wired Access to the domain. We acquired a company called 120AT where we added SD-WAN to this vision. We've integrated some of our security aspects and today we're announcing some even new technology solutions around that, which we're gonna talk about in a second, uh, primarily around access assurance and, and NAC. So very excited. This is the vision, this is the strategy and it's working. I don't know how many of you guys follow the Juniper in terms of some of our, our, our revenue numbers or, or some of our financial earnings, but the state of the union is strong, right? Juniper has traditionally been a service provider and cloud company. That is very strong, but enterprise is now taking over as the top segment. Juniper is now an enterprise company. It is the top segment that we're selling. AI-driven enterprise is the cornerstone of our enterprise business. It, is, it did over $1 billion last quarter, this last quarter. So it is hot, it is growing, we are outpacing the market. The crown jewel of AI Driven Enterprise is wireless. That's how we came to be. That's, that's really why you, you, know, you guys are gonna talk to these guys. If you look at some of the numbers from last year, um, this was I think 650 Group, we are the fastest growing wireless vendor by a lot in terms of percentages. And we took over the number three spot in North America. So things are going, they're going well. And also uh, what we're excited about is we're starting to see more full stack wins, wired and wireless and SD-WAN and security all coming together you know, to, to really take advantage of that full stack vision. Last MFD, we did some exciting stuff. Yes, we did the Lego. I think some of you said you, 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 you didn't get a chance to get that, um, but that was an awesome giveaway. This, this time we had some other cool giveaways that, that are here, but more importantly, it's about the products, right? Last time we announced things like uh, AI ops for location, which we're gonna double click on, on this time. We announced things like uh, new Marvis uh, being able to pull in new data points. You know, we had some Windows clients, we had an Android client. We're gonna talk about how we're enhancing that even more with some new data sets as well. Uh, we talked about things like, um, or since, since MFD, we announced our, our NAS service offering. We announced things like campus fabric management, some new EX switches. So a lot has happened in the last year to continue to get things going. What's happening today? These are some pretty cool announcements and I'm excited about this. Um, if you guys go to newsroom.juniper.net, these literally just hit the wire. So the first thing that we're gonna show you guys is our new access assurance service. NAC is back. Um, and is it better than ever? It's exciting, right? You know, for the first time, this is a true cloud native AI driven NAC solution, eliminating all the headaches associated with on-prem hardware, all the different uh, devices you have to manage. We brought it into, it's integrated with the network. It's integrated with our wired wireless. It's part of the Mist Cloud, part of Mist AI, and we're gonna show you guys that here today, right? Also, in terms of Marvis, continue to learn, there's actually two primary features that I'm really excited about. LLM, I'm sure you guys have all heard about it. ChatGPT, we've integrated with Marvis. Marvis has always had a conversational interface. We've now added LLM to be able to uh, extend that, especially around things like knowledge base and documentation, which I know Peter is near and dear to, to, to your heart. Uh, we've also added Zoom integration. We've always talked about it. I think for five years, we've said, troubleshoot my Zoom call, right? And we did a fantastic job pulling in your wireless data, your wire data, your WAN data to help troubleshoot. Now we're actually literally partnering with Zoom and pulling in the Zoom data into the Mist Cloud as well. So you really have that client to cloud vision as to what's happening end to end for your video stream. And we're gonna start doing that with other applications as well. And then the last thing that we're gonna talk about is Wi-Fi 6E. We did expand our portfolio with a new AP24. 
And so uh, Wes, as part of his section, will talk about that. So a lot to come.